Welcome back to Wanderlust Delirium. Today we travel down to Knott's Berry Farm to see if Mrs. Knott's can redeem herself with her famous fried chicken dinner. But is it really the best theme park fried chicken? Join us to find out. So we're heading to Mrs. Knott's at Knott's Berry Farm where we're gonna try the classic and famous Mrs. Knott's chicken dinner because we went during the pandemic and I don't know if things were running so smoothly but I heard it was really good and I didn't really like it too much. Specifically I didn't like the mashed potatoes and gravy too much. The chicken was a little like burnt and flavorless so we're going back two years later to do a redemption for Mrs. Knott's chicken dinner. I want to see if, if it's really that good and we just went on an off day or if, uh, if their food's not as good as people say it is. So we're going to find out. Also, I asked uh, Peter and Kitra from Ordinary Adventures what we should try and they said to get the biscuits with the boysenberry butter. So. I like I like a sweet butter, like a honey butter, so I think that'd be pretty good. I feel like we we just both had a really bad experience at Mrs. Knott's last time. I'm not trying to be negative about any food we tried. to put our name in. We couldn't get a reservation. We're just gonna have to wait and see how long. Cool, they have a peanut store. A sleepy? I want a sleepy. You want a sleepy? This one's so cute. 22. I think I just found my favorite little display here, but it's all like this. It's so all cute. peanuts like this. I want these. Do these exist? Are these all custom? I want them. I've never. They got a whole like space thing going. I don't think it's really It's not real Lego? You're right, because none of the pieces say Lego. <laughs> yeah. What do they got? How much are they? $13. That's not bad at all, considering Legos. Legos is like triple the price. What is that? <laughs> Eagle Scout. $10. Oh yeah, you can just go to the I gotta get this, baby. Which one do you want? You want the Jungle Adventure? Football, baseball. Space sneak. Baby, we gotta get this for Roman. Oh, look at this and all the metal. Oh, this is actually kind of expensive. Twenty-one dollars. How much is that one? Ten dollars. Yeah, we gotta get that one. I don't know that one. We got like ornaments here. I'm gonna snoop the ornament for Christmas. Mm -hmm. I told you we'll get them when we leave. Never know. I know. But I just make it. They got dog clips? Yeah. Oh. We should get one. Sixteen dollars. It's cute. I wish they had just like a, the yellow one. Oh, there you go. 
Yeah. Hmm. I think they need a wider selection of dog, dog clothing. I like this though. <laughs> Thirty dollars. It's heavy though. The asparagus one. That's strawberries. Boysenberry. These are so cute. I like the magnet, but I don't really want them on. I like how it looks, but I don't want them on our fridge. We're still waiting on her Mrs. Nuts reservation, so we're just browsing. Seedless rosemary jam. So we got sat down at Mrs. Knott's. We're looking at the menu right now. How much is the classic chicken dinner? Oh, Alright. What does it come with? Mashed potatoes, gravy. That's it. So we gotta get the rolls on the side. Yours is just a punch. Mm -hmm. If you want to take it like two, yeah. it's definitely stronger. Like stronger of a boysenberry flavor. Mine, yeah. Mine's more of a lemonade. So I got the chicken dinner, and it comes with uh, either soup or what was it? I like it. It's good. It's more of like a, a thick soup than a creamy soup. Like it's not cream, it's like flour. I like it. It's good. It's very tame. It's, it could use some pepper. Just spilled it all over. It's good. They didn't have the boysenberry butter, but we have boysenberry preserves and butter. So we're gonna make our own boysenberry butter. The butter's a little cold. We're gonna try and we need more butter. There's like little discs. This is not gonna be the same as boysenberry butter. I need more butter. It's really disappointing they didn't have the butter. But we will survive with homemade boysenberry. Oh no, I'm making a mess. Alright, we have our homemade poisonberry butter. Well, that's why we kind of wanted to order it, not make it by hand. But we have both ingredients, so I'm gonna give this a light review because it's not the real thing. These rolls are really good. We finally got our Mrs. Knott's chicken dinner. This right here, the mashed potatoes and gravy, I didn't like so much. I thought it was a bit sweet and could have used salt. Like it kind of just tasted like nothing. I don't remember if I got the chicken or not, but I want to try the mashed potatoes first. Do you like it? I like it. Let's see. Well, we haven't tried this in two years, over two years now. So. Like the dog, what's the name of the sweet? Gravy, huh? It is a bit sweet. 
It's not my favorite gravy, but that's a thousand times better than when we had it last time. <laughs> it still could use some salt, but I love salt. What should I go for? Should I go for a, a drummy, a wingy, thigh, or the breast? This one's huge. The drumstick. No, it's not dry. It just tastes dry. It looks really crispy. But I mean, I'm not really getting any other flavors. I just taste like fried food. Like when you get a spicy chicken sandwich, you can taste some spice and salt. It's not bad. They battered some chicken and fried it. But no season. Like, I'm sure there's some salt in here, but... Mm. No. There's no way this is the best fried chicken. Maybe that already has way more flavor. The restaurant got pretty busy and I think our waitress forgot about our pies so we ended up just taking those to go. But we left and we wanted to go browse some more and we actually found these cool little porcelain animal figures and we were trying to find one that looked like ramen. That's pretty close. Maybe that's the closest one. <laughs> Getting this one and this one. Do you want a jam? What is this? Cherry muffin mix. Do they not have the wax melts? This is pretty cool. This reminds me of like beetle juice. What is that? How much is that? This is actually really cool. We're heading back home from Mrs. Knott's and a few little shopping screens. What did we get here? Uh, boysenberry punch, boysenberry sarsaparilla, and boysenberry premium preserve. I got this one because they had a regular one. You put premium on something, I want this one more. What did you think of the fried chicken? Fried chicken sucked. It didn't have any seasoning. Fried. I like the mashed potatoes and the gravy. Yeah, it was good. We, we've both finished our good. mashed potatoes. The biscuits were good. I had the fried steak. That was alright. Average. Average. Well, so the whole point of us coming here today was because we didn't really like the fried chicken and the mashed potatoes and gravy. The first time. The first time. This time we liked the mashed potatoes. Yeah, and the gravy. The, I thought the mashed potatoes and gravy. Specifically, the gravy was a lot better this time, um, but I guess we realized that the chicken didn't really taste any different. It was actually just kind of still the same and pretty bland. It's fried and it's cooked well, but I didn't really taste any sort of seasoning, even, even like pepper. Or salt. It could have used a lot more salt and... I like how I don't crispy know. I, it was. I don't, I don't get why people like it so much. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, but my taste buds weren't giving me anything to work with. <laughs> I was like, mm. the The chicken soup was good. I like yeah. the chicken soup. The, the side starter. Well, we've yet to try the, the dessert, so. Yeah, waitress got really busy and she forgot about our pie. 
I think we waited like 30 minutes. And then she finally said, did you, did you want to take your pies to go? <laughs> like, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're ready to go now. So I don't blame her, it was busy. But And then recommendation of getting the boysenberry butter was a bust because they didn't have it. I made a crappy mixture of boysenberry and butter. <laughs> but it tasted good. But I noticed that the, uh, the biscuits had like a burnt oily taste or something. I don't know. I didn't taste it initially until you... It's a very, very subtle thing. I just... I still like them. But the, the biscuits were good. They were... Especially with the jam. Yeah. And when they were warm, they were a lot better. But overall, the classic chicken dinner... Well, it was a lot of food, and it was only $26. And these, these times, that's like a great deal, especially for a restaurant yeah. deal. We were full, and we still got dessert to take yeah. home. But I... I'm not recommending that to anyone. I've I've never had such boring fried chicken. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> we gotta try Disneyland's fried chicken. I don't know if there's anyone else that has a fried chicken. I don't, I'm not even trying to be super harsh here, but that was really disappointing. And I don't think they redeemed themselves, like maybe a little bit with the mashed potatoes, but I don't think they redeemed themselves at all with the fried chicken. That was sad. Especially for chicken that apparently was so popular that people lined up to get it, and that's what started Knott's Berry Farm, pretty much. In the wise words of some random YouTuber we saw once, it needs some more seasoning. <laughs> it was a Russian YouTuber. Yeah. <laughs> that's the boysenberry pie. Absolutely filled with boysenberries, jeez. Mm. It's good because of the crust. Like it's soft. Yeah. Like I know what boysenberry is because we have it all the time. But this crust is really good. Very buttery and soft and not dry. Like it's still really soft. It was good. It was way better than anything we had. They do their pie as well at least. 10 out of 10. I always feel bad leaving ramen for so long, so we're gonna see how he reacts. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Hi, boy. Hi, mommy. Hi, boy. Hi. Hi, boy. Hi, boy. Hi, mommy. After we got home, we really wanted to just relax and build our faux Lego peanut sets. I thought they were pretty well designed and good quality. And we did have a great time at Knott's Berry Farm, but unfortunately I cannot say that Mrs. Knott's famous fried chicken was redeemed, which was really disappointing because I wanted to love it. But we are heading to Disneyland soon, so now we have to review their fried chicken. So please subscribe to Wanderlust Delirium for more. Until next time!